Well, today we'll be looking into a Gujarat-based PSU in the chemical segment, Gujarat Alkalis and Chemicals. The company is into production of caustic soda, lice, prills, potassium hydroxide, carbonate, chlorine gas, hydrochloric acid and many, many other items. About the expansion plans of the company, the company had formed a joint venture with GSEL, Nalco, Alkalis and Chemicals Private Limited, a joint venture with Nalco for setting up 2,66,667 MTPA of caustic soda plant and 130 megawatt coal based power plant at Dahej, wherein GSEL holds 60% and Nalco holds 40% of the joint venture. Of the plant, GA GNLA, the joint venture, as on 31st March 2022, had successfully completed the startup of the 200 tons per day caustic evaporation unit and produced 100 metric ton caustic soda of 48.5% concentration. With the same, the CEU unit was partially commissioned. The captive power plant and the caustic soda plant have been commissioned progressively in a phased manner during the current financial year 2022-23. The company and Gale Limited have signed an MOU for setting up a 500 kilolitres per day bioethanol plant in Gujarat. The estimated project cost is around 1000 crores and is expected to generate annual revenues of approximately 1500 crores. The term sheet has been executed between the parties. The dire detailed feasibility report is under preparation. The company's product basket comprises of more than 37 products including caustic soda flakes, liquid chlorine, hydrochloric acid and many other items as discussed. Among the future expansion projects, a plan for manufacturing 10,000 tons per annum of hydrazine hydrate as well as 1,5,000 tons per annum chloromethanes plant being put up at two different locations at Dahej are expected to be operational by second quarter of 2022-23. Hydrazine hydrate is a new import substitute product, whereas in case of chloromethanes, it is a capacity addition to the similar products being manufactured at Vadodara complex. The company is also expanding its caustic soda production capacity at Dahej from 785 tons per day to 1310 tons per day. Out of the total 525 metric ton capacity expansion, 40 metric ton was already commissioned during their 21-22 through reconfiguration of old plant and balance capacity will be commissioned progressively during the second quarter of the year 2022-23. The 65 megawatt coal-based power plant at Dahej is also being considered to be put up. The company is also putting up 33,870 tons per annum food-grade phosphoric acid plant at Dahej, which is expected to be operational by third quarter of 2022-23. The company has a long-term strategic measure Plans to enhance in its in-house chlorine consumption has also planned to set up a 30,000 tons per annum chloro projected project at Dahej to produce benzyl chloride, benzyl, benzyl hide and benzyl alcohol which is planned to be operational during the year 2024-25. The company in its joint venture with Nalco has also successfully commissioned Unit 1 of 2 by 65 capacity power plant in May 2022 together with two out of eight electrolyzers of caustic soda plant. The entire project comprising of 800 tons per day caustic soda plant and 2 by 65 megawatt power plant is expected to be fully operational by the third quarter of financial year 2022-23. The company as a measure of promoting green technology and to meet the solar renewable purchase obligation has already installed 35 megawatt of solar power plant and 171.45 megawatt of wind power plants with an aggregate renewable energy capacity of 206.45 megawatt. Further, the company and NTPC Renewable Energy Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of NTPC Limited, have signed an MOU on 6th July 2022 to explore the business opportunities of mutual interest in the areas of sourcing of renewable power having opportunity mix of solar, wind and other clean energy including energy storage solutions to the extent of 100 megawatt as required for the operations and manufacturing of, of GACL at Vadodara and or Dahej complex in Enanide complex and to jointly work on synthesizing green chemicals such as methanol, ammonia for captive users by GACL using hydrogen and CO2 available at GACL. So talking about the financials, the company has a market cap of 6,721 crores Stock trading at around 915, the book value being 803, 
the stock trading just as a PP of 9.78 and a dividend yield of 1.09 as on 31st March 2022. During the last 12 months, the company had a turnover of 4,171 crores with a net profit of 688 crores, the 12 months EPS turning out to be 93.61 per share. Talking about the balance sheet figures, the company had a share capital of 73 crores, borrowings amounting to 594 crores and the reserves turning out to be 5,826 crores, giving it a debt equity ratio of just 0.1. The fixed assets were 2,702 crores on a consolidated basis. The capital work in progress as on 31st March 22 was 1,787 crores showing that the company has mostly funded the expansion plans by internal accruals and lesser debts. The investments made by the company were around 2,110 crores. The promoter holding in the company is 46.28% led by Gujarat State Investments Limited, Gujarat Industrial Investment Corporation Limited, GMDC, GIPCL, Gujarat Maritime Board, Gujarat Narmada Valley Fertilizers. FII is holding 2.05%, DII is 1.63% and out of the public share holding of 50.04%, 22% is held by Lok Prakashan Limited, Gujarat State Fertilizers and Chemicals holding 2.25%, DIPCL holding another 1.50%. Talking about the investments made by the company, those investments include 2 crore 30 lakh 80 8,980 crores shares of GIPCL, 75 lakh shares of Gujarat State Fertilizers, 2,50,000 shares of Gujarat Leasing Finance Limited and 2 crore 13,15,785 shares of Gujarat Gas Limited. The company has also made investments in Gujarat Guardian Limited, Gujarat State Petroleum Corporation Limited, Gujarat Chemical Port Limited and Vadodara Jal Sanchai Private Limited and also it holds few shares of 3,18,800 amount shares of IDBI Bank Limited. So this was all about Gujarat Alkalis and Chemicals Limited in short.